Section 8.4 is the area of a triangle. So back in geometry, we learned that the area of a triangle is one half base times height, but that only works for a right triangle. So if you don't have a right triangle, you have to drop down a perpendicular and figure out what that height is to then be able to use this formula to find the area. So instead, we're going to use trigonometry to come up with another formula for area of a triangle. So if we look at this right triangle in here, we want to replace H with something that we actually have on our triangle. So we're going to, our area of this triangle here is one half the base, which we're calling B, times this height H. So I'm going to use my trig, my right triangle trig, looking at this right triangle in here, and I'm going to use sine. So sine of this angle alpha is our opposite, which is our H that we're looking for, over our hypotenuse, which is C, if we look at this right triangle. So then if we solve for H, multiply both sides by C, you get that H is equal to C times the sine of alpha. So then if we go back up here into our one-half base times height formula and replace H with C sine alpha, we have one half side B times side C times the sine of alpha. So now we have another formula for the area of a triangle. And these work for side angle side problems, side angle side triangles. So if you have side B and side C and the included angle A. So A, B, and C will always show up in this formula. One of them will be the angle and the other two would be the side. So for instance here, if I have side A and side B and the included angle gamma, or if I have side A and side C and the included angle beta. So go ahead and use that formula to find the area of this triangle. So it's already a side angle side triangle, so there's nothing that we need to do to this because it already fits our formula. We're given A, C, and side angle beta, so we're going to use that formula, 1 half A, C, sine beta, Plug in everything you know, plug it in your calculator. The area of this triangle is 0.173. We're going to talk about finding the area of side, side, side triangles in a second. But if you're given something that's not side, angle, side, you could always use your law of sines or law of cosines to get a side, side, excuse me, a side, angle, side triangle and then apply this formula. To solve the area of a side, side, side triangle, we use what's called Heron's formula, which is the square root of s times s minus side a times s minus side b times s minus side c. So a, b, and c are the sides of the triangles, just like we've talked about before. s is one half times the sum of the three sides. So here we're given a side, side, side triangle. So go ahead and pause the video and use Heron's formula to find the area of this triangle. So s is one half times the sum of the three sides. So in this case, it would be 11.5. And then the area is the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Again, S is 11.5, A is 10, B is 8, and C is 5, which is all given. Plug that in your calculator, you end up with the area of this triangle is 19.810. Again, if you're given something that is not a side, 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 or a side, angle, side triangle, you can always use law of sines or law of cosines to get into that form and then apply either the first area formula or Heron's formula. So now we have a word problem using area of triangles. Go ahead and pause the video, read the word problem, and maybe draw out the picture. So we want to find the area of the shaded region, which is this area in here. It's a little bit hard to see, but that is inside the sector but outside that triangle. So we've talked about area of a sector back in chapter five, but we talked about it in terms of radians. The area of the sector in terms of degrees is theta divided by 360 times the area of the circle because you only want that portion of the, of the circle. So they give you a hint. They say subtract the area of the triangle from the area of a sector. So go ahead and pause the video, find the area of the sector, find the area of the triangle, and use that to find the area of the shaded region. So area of a sector, theta over 360 times pi r squared, so in this case theta is 70 degrees, you end up with 39.095 feet and feet squared. The area of this triangle, it is a side angle side triangle because both of these are radii, they're both 8 feet, so 1 half 8 times 8 sine 70 degrees. 
So that ends up being 30.070 feet squared. So then the area of this, what they're saying is shaded in blue, this shaded area here is, subtract those two areas, you end up with 9.025 feet squared. So 7.4 gives us two more formulas to help us find the area of a triangle when you don't have a height.